Hey everyone. Shout out to Miss Foxy Brown, Ms. Brown, and Nicole Bernard. Wow. The ladies were right, were right. Suge Mike said that he had a conversation with Dre and that he said he wanted to be white. I looked at this like three times. It's like, yep, the words are coming out of his mouth. Um, fair use. So let's check it. One, two, three into the four. It seems Dr. Dre don't want to be black no more. Here we go. Dre came and had a conversation with me. He said, look, I want some more than anything, in, you know, possibly more than anything in the world. And I said, what's that? And he said he wanted to be white. Mm. I said, well, look, I ain't God. I can't, I can't make you white. You know, I'm a manager and all things. I mean, you can make enough money and you can act white and you can live white, but I can't make you white. And he said, well, Jimmy told me that he can put me on a level where I don't have to curse on my records so that I can live that type of way. He said to Jimmy, you know, he, and I was still, I was shocked. I was like, well, you know, where all this come from? Being, you know, being black and all of a sudden you want to be white, you know? I tell them the only way to be, you know, white. You probably can never be, but if you, you can marry a, a white person and you can have, then your kids more likely to be more white, except that's mm -hmm. black. And, you know, I, I feel we friends because he takes my advice because he done it. You know, he married a white lady, he got, you know, his kids, which is good. You heard it. I believe this was back in, what, 2013, I think. Wanted to be white. So it, it, it explains a whole lot. This is Suge Knight. It explains a whole lot. And yeah, I believe it. Like he said, you know, you can marry a white person and, you know, he got the white wife, biracial kids. <clears throat> now, I will say when I was hearing people say on different videos saying, uh, you know, oh, these black men, you know, proximity to whiteness and they want to be white. I thought, well, obviously they don't like themselves, but really want to be white. I mean, you don't want to be who you are. I just came to wake up in the morning looking at my skin. And I'm thinking, oh, I want to be white. Say so what? I just, I can't fathom. I'm for divestment. When you say you want to be, you don't want to be who you are, that means you don't like you. You don't like your skin. I can't imagine that. There's something, and you know, you hear things like I've heard them say, I think Cynthia G, maybe Nyla says, and Woman's Fair, there's something inherently wrong with them. And you know, for a minute, and ladies, I bow to you, y'all been on it. I thought, oh, that's kind of, you know, there's something wrong with them. I get it. But it's like, wow. What they say, I, they've been called it. And if you open your eyes, you can see it. And that's why they do what they do. Want to be white. But as I said before in the video with Dr. Dre, this is how white men handle things. Take note, bro. You'll never be white because guess what? You can marry it all you want and have kids by them. You're never going to be that guy. Because that guy, he planned. That guy does not engage in self-hatred. He doesn't. I heard something. Somebody was saying about, oh, something about um, the black men are going to get their chance chance to do what to rule and i'm like rule what can you imagine and i again if you're not a dusty black man let it fly okay because you can't relate to dust okay but let's be real it's a lot, a lot of dust in the air <clears throat> can you imagine what if they uh ruled america i mean we, we already saw what the morris did in europe Wow, we saw how that turned out, didn't we? Look what they did a few a few weeks ago. Was it a month? Going on a trip and then ran out of gas. You didn't. How did you run out of gas? And your men? How did you run out of gas? And then you decide to do this on the highway and get taken to jail. 
sounds like a trip wasn't well thought of. You didn't see the hand gauge on it that said, hey, may want to stop. Ran out of gas. If you can't even get to your trip, the destination, if you can't even get that accomplished, sweetie, I don't know what more you, what, what can you do? You can't accomplish. You can't get from point A to point B. So if they ran America, <laughs> let me tell you something. Winter definitely is coming. They already stopped. What is this? The enhancement on the unemployment benefits. Um, they're saying in September, and it's like, wow, you think about it. For people on unemployment, yeah, it doesn't like just last forever. They have something, uh, it goes on for a couple of months. And I think after, if you haven't secured any employment then, they cut the benefits off. So I thought about that. Yeah, unemployment, it doesn't just keep on going. Well, they haven't found a job yet. No, once you're tapped out, whatever the amount is, because each state they have like, you can get only so many weeks. So if they don't extend that, What's this gonna happen? A lot of a lot of mammies taking care of your you take you want to pay for the meat, and that's you, girl. I'm gonna I don't hate you, I just have to pay for you. What's gonna happen when your money run out? I already did the video. The eviction was on and he was gone. Somebody already had to comment that oh my goodness, it just happened to somebody that, that they know, and it's the same thing. Only in that circumstance, it was she had to call the female had to call her women friends to come help her move. He was already gone. So guess what, mammies, you, but I hope you keep your check coming because when he sees that you can't provide no more, he, listen, the eviction is on, he will be gone for you too. It ain't just that one chick. It's not just that one. As I saw the video on Simply Stephanie, please let that money get tight and you can't, you can't provide for him. Don't, you know, you gotta be comfortable trying to get rid of these dudes. You got to proceed with caution because they might act up, especially if you don't have no other backup. If there's no other backup and you're in, you're going to try to dish me now. Look what happened to that beautiful nurse. Mm -hmm. He picked her up in her car and he was coming to get his things out the house and look what happened. You, you've been a security for him for so long. Again, you better have speed dial. If you got some home, you, you better have, a, you might want to get you a police escort. I already told you, I went to the courthouse, I had to get some papers and look up. Hearing this, two women. So you're having a boyfriend's in the house and having a file for eviction to get him out. Can you imagine? And Becky already said, oh, he's he's still going to work, but refused to pay her and it's her house. Still going to work. Going to live off Becky. So he can come up. Girl, you're doing the right thing. You and the sister girl, doing get, get him out. File the eviction, get the laws involved, get him out. Because all he will do, if you allow that, is go ahead and save up some stacks. And guess what? He going to go ahead with another chick, and then he'll be coming up with hers. Mm hmm You might try to pay up for a little bit. You know, he might come in paying temporarily just to get in. But don't help him. So this here. Wow, this clip, again, I think it was Foxy Brown. Since this also, I saw uh, her in the comments. I, this explains it all. It explains it all. And that's why he was on board with giving out, was it 70 million? All that money, him and the other guy, which I researched that in another video, $70 million to USC. So you don't, let's say they split half. Let's say he gave half and Dre gave half. That's $35 million. This fool rather give this money, and it is a fool when you hate yourself. You rather give that money to a white university than give it to your daughter? And the four children? I told you he loved whiteness. This just verifies it. And this is my opinion. It verifies it. I'm sure to be a mammy. Well, you know, he, well, you know, he he, he was just talking. Uh, you, you mammies are also part of the black community because you perpetuate this nonsense. So one more time for the slow ones in the back. This with me, he said, "Look, I want some more than anything, and you know, possibly more than anything in the world." And I said, "What's that?" And he said, "He wanted to be white." I said, well, look, I ain't God. I can't, I can't make you white. You know, I'm a manager and all things. I mean, you can make enough money and you can act white and you can live white, but I can't make you white. And he said, well, Jimmy told me that 
he can put me on a level where I don't have to curse on my records and I can live that type of way. He said, to Jim, you know, and I was still, I was shocked. I was like, well, you know, where all this come from? Being, you know, being black and all of a sudden you want to be white, you know. I tell him the only way to be, you know, white, you probably can never be. But if you, you can marry a, a white person and you can have, then your kids more likely to be, be more white instead of just black. And, you know, I, I feel we friends because he takes my advice because he done it. You know, he married a white lady, he got, you know, his kids, which is good. Mm. If that's not self hate, I don't know what is. I do not know what is. So this here, his daughter, someone said in the comments about writing a book. Girl, yes, write a book. Get all the siblings together. Start writing you a book. I would capitalize on this. Sweetie, life is business. Whether you rather face it or not, it's business. And that's why black people don't seem to understand. That's why we're failing at it. Doing some old dumb culture stuff. They don't make any sense. That's why we're failing at it. So I'm going to stop getting myself all hyped up. I don't deal with black and stand like that. Uh huh. I'm not getting myself all worked up about it, but you think about it and it's like, man, who who don't who didn't get the memo? Raising kids in poverty, yeah, it's not not a cool thing to do. Raising having kids by men that hate themselves. What do you think, ladies, he's gonna do for you? If he hates himself, what is he going to do for you? Look around you, and you already see. Look at the black community. Anyway, thanks for listening. Feel free to comment, like, dislike, uh, subscribe and share. I'm out. Ladies, love yourself. And to the few black men that understand, stay strong. I'm out.